What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I just want to show you guys a cool, quick tip tonight. Now, I know a lot of you guys and females out there probably have noticed that if you open up your Finder now inside OST Mavericks, and if you go to your main home folder, in this case, mine is named Brian Feaster, you'll notice that when you go here, your library folder that normally sits inside this window is missing. Now, the reason why that folder is now invisible is because Apple has noticed that with a lot of the people that call in as far as through tech support and everything, we see a lot of people every day that's always having problems on their Mac. And a lot of those problems are relating to something that they probably did inside their library folder. Now, this is basically for the people that's not really too familiar with the library folder. We always tend to go in there and, you know, move stuff around and delete stuff and, you know, stuff like that. And those files that we have in that folder is for important reasons. You may go in there and you may delete a file and you'll notice that later on down the line, you may run into a problem with one of your applications, such as like Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom or, you know, any application. So basically with that being said, that's the reason why Apple has just said, OK, we're going to just make this folder invisible. And hopefully that will stop a lot of people from, you know, causing problems on their Macs. But it's fine. I'm going to show you guys on how you can unhide that folder. Now, you can do this by a command J. If you open up your finder window here and then just hit the two keys on your keyboard, command J. Or if you don't want to do that, you can always just go up here to the view. Click on view. Go down to where it says show view options and you can still get this little box here so this is basically what you want to have right now on your screen once you have that open if you come down here where it says show library folder you'll see that once you click that option your library here will then appear and there you go you have your library folder back but like I said, just be careful if you go in there and you get to messing around with stuff and, you know, trying to delete cookies and cache and all that. You just want to be careful because a lot of this stuff in here is very, very important. It can harm your Mac if you don't know what you're doing. So that's one way. And of course, as we all know, let's just say uh, we're going to hide that. Now let's go back. Now let's just say if you want to, you know, just get to it a lot quicker. You can always do, you can hold down your option key. Go up to where it says go, and then right there you can click on library. Now, if I let go of my option key, you will then see that that folder has disappeared again. And if I hold it down, there it go. So you can always just hold down your option key and go up to the go menu and then click on library. Or you can do the command J, or if you don't want to do the command J, you can always go up to where it says view, come down to where it says show view options, and like so, just, you know, check that box. I hope this video was very informative for you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if it was. Holla at you.